Green Arrow, Green Lantern, and Avatar. Oh my! Well, let's get right into the thick of this video. And this video is going to be about, of course, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, and Avatar, those three movies. My impressions on those movies, movies and my thoughts on them. Well, let's start off with Green Lantern because he's not a very well-known character to the mainstream audience. Um, he's really an ancillary character in the DC Universe, and I, I think that's a, doing a disservice to him. He's a Red Robin version of Batman, and he goes after small-time criminals because he doesn't have those big-time criminals that Batman has. And I really admire him for that because he doesn't, he doesn't try and become this bigger-than-life person. He just goes after normal criminals. And the movie that they're planning on doing is him already in prison with the Joker, Lex Luthor, and all of those supervillains. I think that's a wrong route to go because Green Arrow is really an unknown character and you could do a lot with that. And you could go year one, quite literally. You could take the storyline from year one and just make that into a movie. And that would spawn a whole new series of movies for the Green Arrow series of them. And if you don't know uh, Green Arrow, I, I suggest that you go to your local library or comic shop and look to see about Green Arrow. Because Green Arrow is a really rich character. <clears throat> and I think many people will like him. But I think going straight to Supermax is really a problem. You have to start out with the beginnings of Green, Land, or Green uh, Arrow. I think that would be good. Let's move on to Green uh, Lantern now. Now, as many of you may know, Ryan Reynolds has been cast as the Green Lantern. And I was just looking on IMDb to see which Green Lantern he's going to play. And it said that he's going to play Hal Jordan. And if you've seen the characters that Ryan Reynolds plays, he doesn't play serious characters all that often. I mean, Hannibal King, um, I mean, Deadpool wasn't really supposed to be serious. I'm not, I haven't seen Wolverine Origin, but I, I don't know how he played him. But, I mean, his characters are usually lighthearted, char like, charismatic people. He's in comedies and stuff. So, if any Green Lantern is, should play, I think he should play Kyle Rayner because Kyle Rayner has that kind of personality. He has that sort of relationship with people. He has that... Um presence about him. He has that kind of tenuous relationship with his girlfriend. Him being an artist and him drawing naked ladies and that the, the hilarity that ensues from that. Um, but him playing Hal Jordan I don't think is a good choice. Just because Hal Jordan's an older um, Green Lantern and in the comics he's dead and I think he gets brought back. But he's uh, one of the few original uh, Green Lantern. Um, so I think that should be reserved for an older actor to play an older Hal Jordan. Or at least have flashbacks to Hal Jordan through some way or have him meet Hal Jordan. But him playing Hal Jordan is not, I think, the right move to do for the Green Lantern movie. Um... But I think Kyle Rayner is a good fit for Ryan Reynolds' personality more than Hal Jordan is. Um, and also, you'd have to have Jon Stewart, because Jon Stewart plays uh, a semi-role in Kyle Rayner's life. He meets him in the comics. Um, and you'd, ha you'd have to cast Jon Stewart. Um, and y you'd, I don't know who would you'd get to play that. Um, it'd be really hard to sort of cast him, as I said. But let's move on to Avatar now. Avatar The Last Airbender is, of course, an anime-esque cartoon that they play on Nickelodeon and Nicktoon Network and all that stuff. Its animation style is really good. The story is really deep. I like it, but from what I've seen of the M. Night Shyamalan movie, I don't think it's going to be stay true to the um, storyline of Avatar. 
Last Airbender. I could be wrong, but I think it's not going to follow the line. It's not going to have the characters like Katara, Sokka, um, Zuko. It's not going to have those characters from what I've seen because they didn't show any of them in the trailer that I saw. They didn't show Zuko and they didn't show Sokka and they didn't show um, Katara. They didn't show those characters. I'm a little bit wary because so much of the story is wrapped up in the relationships of Katara, Sokka, Aang, Toss, Zuko, and the relationship that Zuko and <clears throat> Aang have, and the relationship that Katara and Aang have, and not having those characters in the movie might bring the story down. And I'm not the biggest fan of it in Light Shyamalan anyway because his movies are just really weird, and Avatar is a kid's series that delve into a little bit dark territory but they always have it's always been a kids show it, it's never been an adult show it's a kids show with this uh talking about different issues tolerance um accepting oneself that stuff but the end like Shyamalan movie seems more like an action flick more than it does um talking about the things that are talked about the show, and I, I really, I really just want to see if there are if there are the characters Sokka, Toph, Katara, Zuko. If there are those characters, I think they he needs to show them. Um, but those are the three movies that I wanted to talk about. So post comments, video responses, telling me your thoughts on. Green Arrow, Supermax, Green Lantern, or Avatar movies. Peace out, and talk to you guys later.